Hi, everyone. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for all the great comments and feedback for each video that I have uploaded to this channel. I am doing my very best to respond to all of your comments, and we'll be catching up soon. Now, with that said, all right, Math Legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem first before I do. And you know the drill. If you got the answer, let me know in the comment section down below, and also subscribe to get more challenges like this one. 3 times 2, and then you have 3 divided by 2 inside these parentheses, and then you have this exponent 2. Now, to start solving this problem, I'm thinking of PAMDAS because I see parentheses, I see multiplication, division, there's an exponent. So according to PAMDAS, the parentheses will go first. And notice that we have this exponent of 2, or the power of 2, or 2 squared, right? Now... This is telling us to multiply 3 times 3, which is 9, and 2 times 2, which is 4. So let me go ahead and write 9 divided by 4, and then keep the parentheses. Now, 9 divided by 4, I want to turn this into a fraction to make the math easy. 9 over 4, and then bring down the 2, but I want to turn the 2 into a fraction to make the math easy, and we, we should know that 2 over 1 equals 2. It does not change the 2, right? And do the same thing for the 3, turn it into a fraction. So 3 over 1 does not change the 3, it becomes 3, right? 3 over 1 equals 3. There you go. Now, um, all we have to do now is just multiply across. So 3 times 2 is 6 times 9 is 54. Yeah, 54, right? And then 1 over 1 times 1 is 1 times 4 is 4, right? Now we have 54 over 4. And I know the top bottom is even and the bottom number is even. So I can just divide this by 2 right, to break it down to its simplest uh, terms. And I know half of 50 is 25, right? And half of four is two. So 25 plus two is 27. So I'll write 27 here because that's half, right? 54 divided by two is 27. And then four divided by two is two. And so this cannot be simplified further. So this is your answer. Now let's turn this, this improper fraction into a decimal. So the 27 will be the dividend and the two will be the divisor. And so how many times can two fit into 27? Well, we know that 10 times two is 20, right? 0 times 2 or 2 times 0 is 0 and 2 times 1 is 2. And then so we got 10 and then just count 2, 4, 6, 8. So plus 3, that's 13. So we can fit 2 into 27 13 times. And then 13 times 2 is so think about it, or just do the math like this. Three times two is six, and two times one is two, so it's 26. And then subtract 27 minus 26, which gives you one. And so your answer in a, whoa, look at this. We can just write a mixed number. Yeah, we can, we can turn improper fractions into mixed numbers. So this will be a mixed number of 13, which is the whole number, 1 as the remainder, and then 4, I mean, sorry, 2 as your denominator. So this will be your mixed number answer, but we want a decimal answer as well. So let's continue dividing. So we're continuing with long division. So how many times can 2 fit into 1? You cannot. So we're going to add a decimal after the 27 and the 13. And we need to borrow. And the 1 needs to borrow 0. So the 0 comes down. And now the 1 becomes a 10. So how many times can 2 fit into 10? 5 times. 
right? Five times two is 10 and 10 minus 10 is zero. So your decimal answer will be 13 and a half or 0.5. And that will be your answer. And there you go.